zero pence here. In front of you is a present I got from my son for Father's Day, and it's the soldier, Vitronox. Well, when he gave me this, I was over the moon. I mean, it really is a nice knife. Everything on it is spot on. The saw is absolutely magnificent. But, as you can see down there, there is a serrated edge. Why? I hate serrated edges. And they, they cause problems if you're going to use a knife for doing a bit of whittling or carving. Anything like that. This knife is absolutely, the blade on it, is absolutely spot on except for this. Now it's a personal preference, I'm not saying, you know, Vitronox could, should change it, and I think they sell one without a serration. Um, but they're not available, they're not readily available. So, and another thing about it is, that it don't come with a case. You know, a little nylon case that can go on your belt, would that would be great, but it, it just comes in one of those plastic cut open packs right I'm in my shed today and uh, I'm going to do something quite drastic to my new knife which is the Vitronox Soldier I hate serrated blades to me they genuine honestly are a waste of, waste of time a waste of space but people love them uh, but I don't. I'm the opposite. I absolutely detest them. So I'm about to change the blade. Now don't do this if you if you've got a knife and you don't like it and it's serrated. Don't do what I do because if you don't feel qualified to do it, send it off to someone because there are people out there that will do it. Unfortunately, not me. Because uh, when it comes to taking serrations off of knives, there's, for me there is so many pitfalls that I won't do it. But I will do it on my own knife. Uh, so without further ado, I'll get on with it. Well, that's my idea of a Vitronox. It's a lovely shape. It's beautiful. I've not taken any, uh, I've blended the back to the front, obviously because it was a chisel grind, I've now put a second grind, if you want to call it on it, or a proper penknife grind on either side. I'll take it away, give it a little stone in, and uh, see how it cuts. You can see the knife in all its glory and the serrations have gone from the edge. That is shaving sharp, I assure you. And I think it looks really nice. I've blended it from the back with a slight sweep so that the uh, sharpening notch is still there and it's not worn away. Otherwise, I'd look stupid. And you see the blade. And I really like it like that. It is a Victronox blade, by the way you look at it. One of the things that I don't like about it as well, it's just aesthetics, so I'll turn this over, is that the fact that it's got 16 stamped there, and Victronox and uh, Swiss made on there. Well, why not put the 16 there and put the Victronox where you normally put it? Because it looks smart. And um, it's a Vitronox thing, I think. And uh, I honestly think, no, aesthetic wise, it's a really good knife. Right, well, nothing is brilliant now with, without that uh, serrated edge. <laughs> and then going to serrations, this, this here, this saw, is absolutely brilliant for little work, you know, removing, making notches and removing things for pegs and things like that it's, it's awesome the uh, the only thing I would like to see on here was a pair of scissors because that would be really handy on here uh, 
but there's other ones out there that you can do it but they've called this a soldier and uh, I think it should be a little bit more uh, I'm gonna say utilitarian than it is it's it's got the this is actually has a frame lock to it the screwdriver the tin opener is a tin opener the tin opener vitronox tin opener it's nice it's got the hole but it hasn't got the hole it's got a phillips screwdriver um basically it's a good bit of kit i didn't know that it was a liner lock i'd watched all the the things and i must have been asleep but i watched quite a few things on this soldier and i didn't realize it was a liner lock Maybe that's my own stupidity, but um, sometimes you get caught out. Well, I do anyway. But um, here you can see the the edge on it. It's absolutely true, and it's, it's awesome piece of steel. I do like the steel on which knocks anyway. You can't can't fault it. But yeah, I'm uh, also see that the, you've got the flex in there. You see it flexing, but all in all, now I'm happy with it. It comes in a bubble case, you know, the plastic things with uh, instructions on the back. You know, well, if you're a Vitronox owner and you've bought one because you've got one, you don't need that thing, you don't need me telling you what it is and what it's all about because you already know. It's just silly, put it in a box like you used to you know what that bubble wrap that must be, that must cost the same about amount as a bleeding box and they're not doing it you know you just it just amazes me why not put it in a, a decent box with a nice decent case to go with it i better make my own case to go on my belt um that fits in there it jams in there gorgeous and it ain't going nowhere it ain't gonna fall out I've got to put a bit of lanyard on here because I do like a bit of lanyard on it. Um, here you see, there's the case, there's the knife. Uh, it's just, I've just been messing about on oh, this, nothing great, but it's, it's to hold the knife. So, you know, and it will, and it will go on my belt because I'm going camping this weekend as are a lot of people and uh, I should be wearing it on my hip then and uh, it won't fall out I'll show you that in a moment well I don't know what the time is probably about half past nine but there is the sheath for my uh, soldier I can hang on my belt so it's, it's only a bit of old uh, settee that I cut up and saved and you know, I've been just messing about out in the garden it's indoors it's like an oven today really hot so I decided to come out here and sit in my chair as you can see got my workmate out and uh, my workbox is down there. I've been gluing and punching. I'm just basically having a good time. <laughs> and as you can see, I'll shake that up and down. That ain't gonna come out of here in a million years. It's really jammed in there. You have to uh, give it a good pull to get it out. But when that's on my belt, I don't want that jumping about. I want that tight in there. And uh, I want it jammed in there, as you can see. It's more than truly jammed in there. Uh, so I'm happy with that. And uh, yeah. Well, I think these really do warrant a case. Because when you put it in your pocket, you're going to get all the bits and dust out of your pocket in, in the guts of it. And, uh, you know, 
I know it's a Vitra and Oxford, you don't really want that, do you? Yeah. As I say, a nice little sheath like that to hang on your belt, and this will be brilliant. I might make a better case later, but I just wanted to do this today just to show you that, you know, it can be done. So zero pence, my little rant, and uh, my opinion of this knife now, um, I know that I've done the blade, and I'm not being cocky, you, you know, if you can do it, you can do it. And uh, I think that it's a hundred times better, because I hate serrations. Uh, it's a full length blade, I can carve with it, I can make holes with, with, with it, I can do everything that I want to do with that knife now. Serrations, they call this the soldier, if you gave this to a military person, the first thing that's going to happen if he really roughs it is he's going to burr over those serrations and uh, he's going to look at it and he's going to shove it on a grinder and grind them off that's my opinion you know if you like the serrations don't bother to tell me because I know that people like them and uh, that's the whole point of it I don't like them but everybody's entitled to their opinion. Uh, as I say, I love this knife now. It comes, it's quite tight in there, as you can see. I'm pulling it out. So, one hand it opens. And there it is. Beautiful. And he's shining up that way. Get my wife off. My wife will kill me on this shirt. But that's grease on the, grease and oil on there. Where I was sharpening it and stropping it. But uh, it is, I assure you, as clean as a whistle. And uh, it's as scratchless as the day I bought it. And I said to my son I was going to remove them. And he said, yeah, Dad, do what you like, mate. You know it's going to look nice. So, <laughs> but he's biased, he is my son. And, uh, yeah, you can see the nice edges on there. It's not warped or anything. It's beautiful. And one thing, if you're going to do this, make sure that you've got water next to you. You really cannot afford to this to discolour or, or uh, do anything like that because it will lose its temper, and you don't want that. But as I say, this is my little rant and my improvement, I think. And I just, I've just after doing this, I saw that I had a on my phone, I had a. A message like a notification from funky prepper he's got one of these and he's he's had someone take the uh, serrations off of it as well which shocked me <laughs> so I'm not the only one zero pence thanks for watching catch you later